The studio shareholders will decide in an upcoming meeting whether they trust Bob Iger's vision or billionaire Nelson Peltz.Disney. Faces a showdown over its future this week as the Hollywood Giants investors decide whether to back its leadership or throw their weight behind a billionaire activist investor demanding change. The magic. Kingdom is under pressure. Amid lackluster box office returns, an expensive bet on streaming and looming questions over the future of its legacy TV business. Against this backdrop, Bob Iger, Disney's boss, is fighting to persuade shareholders that he has the right team in place to revitalize the entertainment group. At its annual meeting on Wednesday, they will vote on calls for a boardroom shakeup. Nelson Peltz, the investment tycoon, has spent months campaigning for two seats on Disney's board, arguing it has failed to act as the company's earnings, reputation, and stock price struggled allies of. Peltz, 81, have questioned how Iger, 73, plans to turn the company around and lay the ground for its next leader, Iger, who served. As CEO from 2005 to 2020, has already picked one successor, settling on Bob Chapek, who oversaw its parks and resorts, only to be summoned out of retirement two years later. When Chapek was ousted amid alarm on Wall Street over the company's performance, as the proxy fight, Escalated. Iger has been backed by an array of powerful figures, including George Lucas, the Star Wars creator, and Laureen Powell Jobs, the philanthropist and widow of Steve Jobs, both significant shareholders, as well as Michael Eisner, ex Disney CEO, Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan Chase boss, and members of the Disney family. Over the years, Pelts, who runs the hedge fund Triumph Partners, has proven to be a formidable opponent with campaigns at consumer goods companies including Mondelez, Heinz & Procter Amp, Gamble, he has proposed taking one seat of Disney's board for himself and obtaining another for Jay Rusulo, the company's former chief financial officer.